it's wonderful. It's, uh, it's like having a, a building out in nature, and they brought nature to the building. I smile every day I come in here, and everybody does, right? I mean, you can't walk into this lobby and not smile. Schools that are between 800 and three or 4,000 students have a certain sense about them. Their, uh, the sense of place, the way the buildings come together around the campus, and the way that the faculty and students interact is pretty special, and that relationship is really what motivates us and drives a lot of the work. Our participation in the, the design process was instrumental to, to making the facility what it is because we, we worked with the architects and the designers to actually uh, let them know what we needed within the facilities and they were often able to find ways that were not only functionally fantastic but that were aesthetically nice to meet our needs and, uh, and so it's been, uh, I think it was a, a good, good partnership, worked out well. The most amazing things about the building to me has been the effect on the campus as a whole. It has become a gathering place for students of, of uh, not just science students, but students from all disciplines. Various spaces have become student habitats, places we didn't even think. They spread out and study in the labs when no one's using the labs, which is unheard of in science labs, really. The lab space is fantastic. It's lit. It's it's not your typical chemistry lab, which is usually pretty enclosed. And adding this building with the set of stormwater ponds that surround it, knowing the sources of the water, what the flow patterns are, and all that has been uh, fantastic. Because we use it in research all the time now. Um, and in fact, it's helped me collaborate with some of the, my other colleagues. I think this space has really sort of transformed this uh, university on a lot of different levels. We have students that are coming to me with these independent research projects that we could never have done before uh, that we can now do using the space and the tools that are, are in this building. The first step of the scientific method is observation. And so just simply seeing things around you leads you to ask the questions and form the hypotheses and stimulate your curiosity to get you thinking and get you investigating. It's inspiring our students to uh, connect with the natural world. Having students walk through this portal and seeing the native landscaping that's around, it catches your eye and it catches their excitement. You can't avoid this building. You can't avoid the activities in this building, no matter where you are on the campus. And the things that we're really trying to do is to get people to truly experience um, science, even if they're not um, um, taking a course or enrolled in this program, but that they, just by being nearby, find themselves touched by it and immersed in the environment. Uh, this building has completely changed the, the perception of what this uh, Virginia Wesleyan is. When you're teaching environmental science, to be able to do it in an environment where you can see everything outside is, it's exciting. It, it causes you to be really more engaged in, in even what you're teaching and learning. And we've seen that already just in this first year.